to another successful meet. So guys, I'm gonna give you guys a quick uh, 2023 update on the coupe. So the last update I had was putting out everything that went wrong uh, once we got it. And currently right now it's like actually perfect. It's running really good right now. Um, we messed with the throttle body and opened up the throttle a little bit more because the throttle stopper. So we opened it up a little bit more and now it's actually holding um, idle uh, whenever I go to a complete stop or just revving the car up just sitting because um, sometimes you could rev it up and then with the twin disc um, being so light and it revving so fast when it comes back down it would just completely just die and wouldn't stay alive so and another thing is that um, this doesn't have an idle air control valve which probably the reason why it does that but 
um, from some of the other people I've been talking to, I actually recommend running a no idle air control valve because half the time it doesn't run right anyways uh, with this sort of build. So we actually fixed the mess with the throttle stop screw and locking it in at a perfect spot. Um, right now, idle is around like 13, 1400 RPM. Um, it might be a little high, um, but from what I heard, for anybody running an idle air control valve, it's gonna idle a little bit higher than usual. So that's where it currently idles. Um, it runs pretty good now. Um, shout out to Caleb for swinging by and working on this. But yeah, just uh, give you guys a quick update on what's been going on with the coupe. Nothing much, it just sits out here right now. Uh, I've been trying to drive it. Uh, I might take it to an event this upcoming weekend, but everything's pretty solid um it needs a wash needs to be detailed i need to clean the interior out um i'm probably gonna recheck everything over again and do a couple more drives put some more miles on it and then going over winter we're probably going to be ordering some new timing belts um a coil unplug uh, adapter a dizzy cover um and i might get the tronic works uh spark plugs because that's supposed to be a little bit better than the ngk ones but um i kind of want to stick with ngk or oem just so that when my tuner does get this thing on the dyno eventually we'll put it on the dyno um i don't want him to have any uh, issues with that but um yeah currently we're just saving up for Honda. that's like the next thing we need but as of right now i, I got the car running just like how i got it the first day i took it out before we ran into all them issues so right now i'm just trying to enjoy it take it to a couple events i drove around the block and it ran fine so yeah that's pretty much it on the update on the coop um i also want to tell you guys how much we spent so far getting it like buying the car so we bought the car the way it is and we probably spent about i'm gonna say we we're about 500 bucks in on buying parts for this thing so one of the first things we had to do was buy a fuel pump hanger because the fuel pump hanger was leaking so we bought that which was i think it was like 300 bucks and then the second thing we had to buy oh actually we bought three things the second thing we had to buy was a cop kit which is the whole coil on plug setup the wiring harness for the coil on plug setup and getting it soldered onto the ecu and then the third thing that we bought was the throttle body because the throttle stop on my other throttle body was stripped. So we got all that issued all figured out. And in total of the three things that we had to buy to fix the car, actually four, cause I had to buy the cam gears too, which is 150. Um, all that added up to around like five, I would say roughly around 600 bucks, which ain't too bad. I didn't put too much money into the car, but um, the next thing I want to do is swap these slicks off and put some r triple eights all the way around and run two 25 45s and then um we're gonna throw the slicks on a different uh, pair of wheels which my brother has which is pretty nice and probably gonna buy that off him throw these slicks on there and if i need to throw slicks on this car um those wheels will be ready to go it's just that i need to buy two new sets of tires for these front ones but besides that everything on the car is running good now um like I said, I'm about to take it to an event this weekend, uh, Saturday. It's a good cause. It's for epilepsy. And basically, um, every entry that enters the show, like I think it's five bucks to enter the show, um, all goes to the charity for the epilepsy. They do a lot of giveaways, raffles, all that. Um, they also do trophies as well. So um, I, I went to this meet a couple times uh, in the past. And every time I went, it's always a good turnout. Um, not many Hondas, it's mostly like Vets, you know, some GDM cars here and there, but um, I think a lot of people will be surprised to see this with the hood popped open and see a big turbo underneath the hood and take this out there. But yeah, just want to give you guys a quick update and, you know, make some car content for y'all. You know, I've been on busy with the podcast every Sunday and um, now that uh, I did find another job for, you know, some side money, um, it's definitely going to be a lot harder to make more content for YouTube or Instagram and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I will flip the camera and show myself, but I'm just kind of like out of it and tired. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.